Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. I'm Todd. And I'm Carla. And today we are at Southland RV, a little north of Atlanta, and uh, we got something special that we want to show you, a half ton truck camper. Let's go check it out. We're here with a brand new 2021 Cirrus truck camper, model 620. It's made by New Camp and uh, it's a half ton uh, truck camper, so it's, it's lightweight and uh, it's small, but it's lightweight and uh, let's go walk around and check it out. Now, I don't know all the details on this camper, so I'm just checking it out like y'all are uh, in the video here. So we're just gonna see what it's all about. As you can see there, it is a model 620. It's small and compact. It's got a fiberglass exterior on it. Asdale. With Asdale, yeah. It's good stuff. And uh, it's got uh, acrylic thermal pane windows, which those are real nice. Uh, got, some, got some power outlets there. That's a bonus. That's a, I think the, the heat vent for the Aldi heating system. And uh, let's walk around the front. I'm not sure what the front is, but it looks like it may be like an aluminum cap or something. Kind of feels like it's real smooth and uh, real shiny. Looks nice. Looks like it's painted. It's got the stargazer window. Yeah, stargazer window. It's got some LED marker lights up there. I'll show you underneath here if I can get it. On the driver's side, basically the same kind of setup. Two windows here. Uh, this camper does have the Rikon Titan uh, jacks there, which is pretty nice. There's no swing out brackets, but you don't need that on a half ton truck, really. So, um, 30 amp plug. And uh, it's got, in here is the, the LP tank. LP tank along with some storage and, uh, and there's a, a gas hookup underneath to hook up a grill so that's really cool and handy and uh, before we swing around back let's go down here and take a look I want to show you something this is cool they have retractable hooks here and uh, ratcheting hooks so you can just hook that down I guess inside your truck bed to the hook so you don't even really need the uh, the tie down brackets uh, like you typically would for most truck campers. You can just strap it down from the inside, so that's cool. Plus, it saves you money from having to buy the tie downs because they are expensive. And uh, there's the the gas line for a grill or whatever. So has that all the way around. So that that'd make it quick and easy. On the back here, uh, it's pretty basic, but uh, you know you got your marker lights up there. Got a amber light there at the door, uh, which is standard. Uh, this does have, uh, it's got, got storage down here on each side. This side actually has the drain, I guess, for the gray tank, as well as the, you can see in there, the hot water drain and the cold water drain valves and the fresh water drain tank valve. Isn't that so, the trailer? And yeah, there's a the trailer seven pin hookup in there, it's in the back. Storage. Down here on the right side is some more storage. So just open. You can kind of get to some of the plumbing in there. And then this right here is locked, but I believe that is for the cassette toilet uh, that is just inside. And uh, let's check this one out. See what this is. Uh, that's the, the outdoor shower and all the uh, water controls. So that's really cool. It's nice and city water. Yeah, city water connection there. So that's pretty handy easy to get to got a nice door and it's good looking backup camera yeah it's got a backup camera up there so it's got everything cool. you need yeah this one says for well, the gross weight for a half ton is 1491 so that's pretty lightweight that'll fit in most half ton trucks down here on the sticker this one says it's 
1,729 pounds maximum one that contains standard equipment. So it's, you know, I don't know exactly what this weighs, but somewhere in there. So that'll fit most half ton trucks. So let's go on inside and check it out. As usual, I'm gonna show you the inside. Let's go. So right on the inside of the door, you have a trash can. You have a little window here with the tray that pulls up. That's pretty cool. Then here's the lock. Got a fire extinguisher. A little pocket here up at the top. A little pocket here. Okay, put a lot of stuff in there. A little storage. So that could be a trash can or just storage Yeah, or just storage, storage there. yeah. Some people put their dog stuff in there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> dog stuff. All right, I'm gonna get in here. I think it normally has a step, but th they just got this. So. Yeah. Moving on up into here, we got, um, looks like we have a slot, the screen, screen door. Nice retractable screen door. Yeah, retractable screen door. Has nice uh, LED lighting around the, the outside of the cabinets there. Has a little halo light there with a vent. Yeah, push up vent. Push up vent, and it's got a fan in it too. That's pretty cool. So here's the kitchen. Um, you have a faucet with a little swivel a knob on it. And then you got the stove top, two burner gas stove top with a glass top. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that is nice. You have to lift up on it to drop it down. So the lid will stay locked up, I yeah. guess. Yeah, it's got to. lots of storage, like yeah. a lot of like deep storage too. It's, I mean, they go all the way to the back here. Storage is really cool. I know it is. For this this camper, small but yeah, it's, that's awesome. It's it's small but mighty, I would say. You can't have enough storage. No, especially in something this this you know. Lightweight and small. Yeah, I love that recessed lighting. I know, I do too. And then you got the, the fan. Yeah. Fantastic Good, fan. Fantastic or, fan, more storage yeah. on that side. This is the emergency exit here. Yeah, okay. And There's then, a... um, whenever I first came in here, I was thinking, oh, this doesn't have a toilet or a bathroom, but guess what it does? There's a toilet. You can't be modest in here, though. <laughs> Swings out and then cassette toilet. That's pretty cool. And it's compact, but it's cool that it has one. I mean, yeah, it's I mean, got really deep storage here. This is like a really deep storage area there. Here's the fridge. Let's see how you put it like that. Yeah, kind of a small fridge, but it's got a little you know, freezer up there too. Get a lot of stuff in there. I think yeah, it's taped up. It's on. They have it plugged in. And then it looks like there's some store. Look at that! Wow, that's cool. It has a little pantry or spice rack or whatever you want to put in there. Um, I, I don't know what this is. Do you? Looks like a probably a vent for the heating the, system, maybe. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Cause it, look, there's also some venting yeah. around the exterior too. There's more storage behind you in those two. Look at that. That's a pretty big storage area there and there. So that goes up to the bed. And then it's below the bed. A there's storage. and a USB plug there on the side. Oh yeah, it's in there. Cool. Storage down below with the net. Yeah. And then there is another plug over here next to the stove. Yeah. The USB. 12 volt USB and then a regular good spot for the coffee maker right there at the kitchen yeah nice windows on each side yeah and there's a ton more storage around the exterior of the bed which you could put all your clothes in that's pretty neat like all around there there's hey look there's even a cup holder hey all right cup holder <laughs> cup holder on each side lighting yeah. like reading, reading lights light. Yeah, more storage on here. Another cup holder over there. And I don't know what this is. Oh, this is, I bet this is a plug. Yeah, look at that. Is 
a retractable plug in there. Yeah, I think that's a USB plug. One of those tower things that pop out. I don't think it pops oh, it's out, but it's, it's got USBs around it. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And then they have the, um, you know, the screens that you can pull down, and then the nightshades that you can pull up. And then it also has LED lighting around the. Around that. Window behind it. Yeah, the big, this is the, called a stargazer window and it's got the, you can pull that up and shade up. So, and there's the, all. this is the Aldi heating system over here. Yeah. And then, Controls. And this is where the coolant's kept. Yeah. Has a um, TV adapter there. Pull out more plugs. It's got... They thought of everything. In yeah, they're just well equipped. Yeah. For sure. I would almost venture to say it has more plugs than our lamps. <laughs> I know, really. It seems like it does. Yeah. I think that's, you know, I'm sure there's something that we're missing, but this is the first time we've ever seen one. So I, you know, we can't really go over every single detail of it, but I think we've. Yeah, most I mean, we don't know much about it, but it sure looks nice. There's the control panel over there. Did you show the, the control panel? Control panel, okay. Yeah, next to the door. With the... Your tank level and lights and porch light and... More storage. I more storage there for whatever while you're cooking. Yep. Very cool. Good little camper if you got a half ton pickup truck and you don't want to buy another truck. Yeah. This would be a good option. If we went back to our Toyota Tundra, this would be definitely a good option. Yeah, I mean, you can, at least it's got a cassette toilet so you can use that if you have to. And yeah. I guess an outdoor shower to, to take a shower. So. Okay, so that's it for uh, this tour on the 620. So we're just going to uh, continue on and go walk around uh, Southland RV here and see what else we can find. So we also found a 2021 Lance 650, which is another half-ton model. Let's go check it out. The 650 Lance here, it's got the white cap on the front. It looks like it's uh, like that TPO cap like we have on our 975 model. It looks good being white. I like that. It's got the mountain graphics on it. It's good looking. There's a solar panel up there. Probably a 100 watt solar panel or something like that. It's got the water heater, furnace, outdoor shower there. Let's check that out. There you go. And it's got some, I don't know if this is open. Yep. It's got some storage out there. I like the graphics on the side. The graphics look cool. Got a big awning on it for a small camper, big awning, big window. Look at the size of that window. That's awesome. It's got outdoor speakers over there. Happy Jacks. It's got a rear awning. That's nice. Backup camera. Sorry for all the road noise, we're up against Interstate I-85 here, but to the back end is nice and clean. There's no bumper back here, but uh, it looks nice. There's access to the drain. Get that in there. That's cool. It's got the magnets that hold the door up. Power plug, cable plug there. It's got another. Oh, there's the propane tank. So it sits horizontally in there, horizontal tank. That's cool. One thing this does have is the uh, push button entry lock. That's really nice. It's got a little storage box there on the side. Yeah, and and storage there, yeah, okay. Storage tube for the, a, a tube right there goes to this. So uh, put your black tank hose in there, I guess. It's got lights on the side there, all the way around. It's 
got a light on the left side, the back, and on the right side. So that's really nice to be able to turn the lights on from the inside of the camper when it's dark outside and uh, you want to see what's going on. So that is really handy. Let's go inside and check it out. This is nice, very nice. Look at that. It's got a pretty good sized fridge there. It's over, it's over the bed, so that could be a, a little tricky. Got a, yeah, it's got, got a net up there. So there's, I just found that there's a little bit of storage under this side of the seat. It's like a, a short storage area there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. Just, uh, yeah. We gotta work with what we got here as far as the lights go. There's no power in here. The seats so. Velcro on like ours do. Let's it's see. got a nice big U-shaped dinette though. There's storage behind the seat there. Yeah, let's look at that little storage behind. Yeah, see. Right okay. There. Storage behind the seat. That's yeah, a little nice. storage there. Let's see what's under here. See that? Look at that, the... look at that dinette there. That's, I mean, yeah. you know, U-shaped dinette. You just turn, turn that you tab turn, around. Well, you, I think you have to pick, pick it up and turn it around, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Spin it around. And then you, more people can fit yeah. there. That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You can lounge. <laughs> there's a bathroom. Yeah, there's a bathroom here. I'll open the door and you can go in there. All right, let's check it out. It's a wet bath. It's full of all the new stuff you get with the oh, there's camper. A there's, is that yeah, a medicine, a medicine cabinet? cabinet up there. I got a skylight. Got the built-in sink. What's that? Is that the toilet paper holder there? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. It's in door number one. Piping access to get to all the plumbing underneath there, so it's a wet bath. But in such a small package in this camper, at least you got a full wet bath right it's there, got so the that's same cool. Faucet, similar faucet that we have in ours. Yeah, before. similar black faucet. It's got more storage right here. There's like a there's a plug up in there if you need a plug. Of course, I guess yeah. this for the microwave really, oh, but okay. you can use Why it. For, play. Check it out. Microwave, two burner gas. It's got those windows like that the Cirrus had. Yeah. Those. Uh, those are nice windows. Very nice. It's got a little sink there. Little. Yeah. I don't know what the mm -hmm. deposit sink or something. The, the marble style countertop there. Yeah, that's very similar to got ours. The furnace below the sink. Got the drawers. It, it's it's so amazing to me how much space these little campers have. These little small ones, you know. Yeah. Because it's they're so much m smaller than ours. It's compact, but it's well laid out. Yeah. It's got a fantastic fan above you. Yeah, air conditioning. It's got air conditioning. And show them the the pull down shade on the door. Oh, yeah, we love this in ours. This right here, and it snaps in so you can. Yeah, that's fantastic. We love that. Yeah. Because we don't all have it. And when you don't have it, you got to open the door to pull the blind down or whatever. So, got some more storage on the side there. It's got three steps up to the bed if you want to use all three of them or you just use one big one. It's got a queen size bed, it looks like, or maybe it's a regular size bed. I don't know. Pretty good size though. It's got a wardrobe up there. It's got another shelf up there, as well as some reading lights back there, a big window, another fan over the bed. So here, let's show this. It's got the stereo and entertainment area here next to the bed. You can mount the TV up there, so you could probably put a swing out bracket to swing around at the dinette. So I don't know if that's going to be installed or not. So. And people always want to know how big the dinette beds are. In this one, it would sleep me comfortably because look. Yeah, and the cushions I'm, are still up. I, I'm five eight, and it would fit 
at me. Perfect. Yeah, you could, six foot person could probably sleep there. Yeah, and just take down. off the end cushions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's sure. pretty cool. You could sleep three in this camper. Yeah. The control panel is up here above the sink. It's got the solar go go power system for the solar panel on the roof. It's got the awning or controls and uh, your, your tank control, battery control, your thermostat for your heat and air, water heater control. Does this have a it's got indoor uh, speakers as well, you know, it's the outdoor and indoor speakers. Does it have a TV somewhere? The TV is up in the, in okay. the bed area. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for our half ton uh, walk around of some half ton uh, truck campers. So pretty cool, a couple of good options. So go check them out. Go by uh, Southland RV here in North Atlanta. Uh, talk to Jesse. Uh, he's the man over here. At least he's the guy that we've uh, dealt with, talked to many times. Super great guy. I'd be glad to help you out. And I'm sure all their other uh, salespeople here uh, would be great as well. So it's a super nice place. So um, we appreciate them letting us come and check out their campers and film here and all that. And that's really cool. And they got some great options. So uh, come check them out. So until next time, we'll see you on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.